Hi again. Uh, put the adapter plate that I've been making today and yesterday into the car. Uh, as you see, I put a uh, sort of stabiliser arm between the bellows and end and the motor base end. Uh, basically, got the gearbox back in. Just sort of trying to have a look at things. I can't do much more regarding the amount of the motor now because I've got to wait until I get a coupler so I can line up and make them all nice and straight and true. So what I've done, I've dropped the gearbox and plate back in so I can have a look at the drive shaft, which as you can see is under the plate here at the moment. And it's got to go into that bit. So I can obviously see that the the gate or the, the um, UJ end is obviously not going to clear this plate, so I'm going to have to cut that out here, down to there. And the shaft piece is just catching the edge here, so again, I'm not going to have to cut up here. I want to keep this as wide as possible so I can put another gusset from somewhere here down to here. Uh, but if I can't get that, then obviously I can't get that. So once again, I'm going to um, get the ankle grinder out while it's in the car. Basically, you're going to keep on cutting until I can manage to get the drive shaft in. Obviously, I've got to take the lower wishbone and stabiliser off again to allow me to pull out the wheel, the bottom of the wheel, enough for the end of that drive shaft to come out, back round and into there. Because at the moment, obviously, it's too long. So we're removing the stabiliser and the bottom of the um, wheel or strut is the normal way of doing it. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, quite happy with what I've done today. Obviously, we should have had the uh, coupling and maybe we could have got the motor mounted as well. Uh, but apart from that, things are going okay. Um, yeah. Let's see what next week brings. Bye for now.